What's happening, Cody? What's up, Dave? Oh, nothing. Ainsley's a little sick, so she got a serious face on. She's drinking milk and eating Cheez Its. <laughs> That's the life. <laughs> she had to take two naps today, so. Cheez Its and milk, great combo. It is a pretty good combo. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, okay, so today is Monday, December 6th, episode 128. Um, and since I can't count on Ainsley uh, sitting here patiently and drinking meat, milk this whole time, I'm going to hop off and Cody, no, that's yours. Cody is going to take over. So um, let's see. Uh, anything crazy, Cody, going on? Or are you just happy to be here? I'm always just happy to be here. <clears throat> All right, my friend. Well, it was a pleasure to see you. Have fun. You Thanks for hopping on. Ainsley, can you wave? Can you blow a kiss? Nice. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Have fun. See ya. Have fun. All right, guys. So getting right into our um, podcast for this week. Um, the big thing that we had was uh, a Kroger November giving. Um, we raised over uh, $3,000, which is amazing. Thank you to everyone that uh, donated. I hope you guys enjoyed um, all of us uh, coaches doing some sort of moving um, for each dollar donated, whether it be a salt bike, calories, or empty bar bench press, or, or burpees, or even weight vested burpees. Um, thank you guys so very much. Um, overall, um, the Movember ended up raising $3,400. The um, Barbell for Boobs ended up raising over $2,000. So overall, we did raise, uh, looks like, over $5,000. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, we really appreciate it. We'll be back next year, um, hopefully doing even more. All right. Thanks for everyone again for uh, donating and helping us out there. The new thing is we have some new members. Uh, we have three new members. We have Aaron and Melissa. Um, they will be usually there on Saturdays or in the morning. So if you see them, um, a lot of times they're together. You can say, hey, what's up? Give them a high five. Um, we also have Caitlin. Um, if you've seen her, you probably have seen her two Frenchies as well. She brings her pups in. They are the most well-behaved dogs I've ever seen. Their names are Ivy and Maddie. Um, if you see them, they will give you some kisses or some pets. All right. So if you see them, say, hey, what's up? We have a lot of birthdays. Um, this was either from the last two weeks or from this week. So um, bear with me here. There's going to be a lot. You have a lot of people to say happy birthday to. We have Victor. Um, from Wednesday, November 24th. Adriana's birthday was uh, Thursday, November 25th. Lanai's birthday, Saturday, December 4th. Mark Grzynski, Tuesday, December 7th, which is tomorrow. Druva is um, Wednesday, December 8th. Kevin Balzen, Thursday, December 9th. And Carmen's birthday is Sunday, December 12th. Happy birthday to everyone. Uh, I hope you guys have a great birthday. It's really cool that you guys get presents now and during christmas so congratulations on that win uh upcoming events kroga hoodies if you haven't picked yours up i think there's only a couple left that haven't been picked up but if you haven't um go grab them they are on the counter at the gym they are super soft i really enjoy them i think everyone else will as well if you guys um have yours on if you can please just take a little quick picture and tag us in it and uh, post it we would really appreciate that it'd be really cool uh, we also have Driven Nutrition. Our monthly order is due Wednesday, December 8th. So if you guys want protein powder, creatine, fish oils, um, greens powders, or anything like that, you guys can use the Google form uh, link in the Facebook members group, or you can email or message Jill directly um, on Facebook or on her Kroga Fitness um, email. Um, send us your orders. If you have any questions, you guys can always ask me um, about that type of stuff. And uh, I can help you uh, help navigate you to the right um, supplements if that's what you're looking for. Right. Uh, some digital high fives. November was uh, pretty crazy. We had a lot of um, PRs in November. So congratulations to everyone that hit a PR. Our PR raffle winner is Susie. She was basically outfitting that whole board. She was in PRs all month. So congratulations, Susie. Well-deserved um, Starbucks gift card. If you guys hit a PR 
in December, please put it up on the board, ring the bell, celebrate it. Um, PRs are something worth celebrating. Also, if you get your name up on the PR board, you have a chance to win a Starbucks gift card. So um, take advantage of that. All right. Next is we have our nutrition tip of the week. Um, this one, some of you guys might know, some of you might not. So here it is. Quinoa is higher protein and lower carbs than your typical carb. So if you can try to sub it in um, to your meals um, here or there, instead of right, your normal carb, maybe it's um, rice or some other type of grain. Um, a lot of times they are very high in carbs and very low in protein. <clears throat> Quinoa has a little bit more protein than your typical carb. So if you can, one easy way to kind of just boost a little bit of your protein numbers, just throw some quinoa into your meals. All right. Uh, pro, uh, programming for the week. If you guys were there today, <clears throat> you guys got to have a little fun um, power clean wall walk double under workout eight by two minutes. So every two minutes you're doing three hang power cleans, three wall walks <clears throat> and 30 double unders. Um, every single round, you're going to add five to 10 pounds total to your bar. So you're going to start at moderate weight and work to a heavy. On Tuesday, we have our 32 minute EMOM. It is our longer cardio workout for the week. 200 meter run, um, 15, 12 calorie row, 12, 10 calorie assault bike, and then 20 ab mass sit-ups. So you're just going to work your way through basically eight rounds of that. So every minute you do each movement. So you do 200 meter run the first minute, calorie row, second minute, bike, third, sit-ups, fourth. <clears throat> On Wednesday, we have a heavy complex of two front rack lunges and one thruster just finding a heavy for that complex. Then you will finish with a little seven minute AMRAP of four front rack lunges and four shoulder to overhead at a moderate weight. That one will be a lot of fun. That is something that Ari sent me that she really looked, uh, she really thought would be a, a good workout and it will be. On Thursday, we have built to a heavy five power snatch. Um, and then at the end, we have a four quality accumulate three minutes of an active hang and two minutes of a handstand hold. You guys can go back and forth on those until you have finished all of those minutes, um, accumulating them however you'd like. Um, make sure you guys get this in. This is very good for your shoulders. It'll help you um, have a better lockout in, say, snatches or any kind of shoulder overhead. Okay, so really make sure you guys get that done. On Friday, we have a little benchmark workout with Cindy. If you haven't done this before, it is a body weight workout <clears throat> um, that always is good. Uh, it is a 20 minute AMRAP, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. So a lot of times you're basically just kind of sitting under the bar doing your stuff, um, but you're always moving. It's, it's a great workout. On Saturday, we have a partner workout. Um, you're going to do a 200 meter suitcase carry, 100 kettlebell swings. They're going to be overhead swings, 100 calorie assault bike, 100 kettlebell swings, 200 meter suitcase carry. Um, the weight for the kettlebell swings will be at a moderate to heavy weight. Um, the suitcase carry is just a one arm farmer's carry. Right down to the 200 and back. You and your partner will do this at the same time. And then on Sunday, we finish with a one to 10 <clears throat> toast bar burpees push press. So you do one of each, two of each, all the way up to 10. And that'll be for time. And that is our programming for the week. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Now, quote of the week comes from a book that Dave has been reading. Um, and this is something that kind of... Um, caught his attention. The quote is, uh, fortune favors the bold and fortune favors the brave. Basically saying, um, take a risk. Um, no one has ever achieved anything without taking a risk. So sometimes, unfortunately, you do have to get uncomfortable, but being uncomfortable and taking a risk for something that you want um, is the only way that you will be able to reach for whatever that goal is. All right. And to finish, we have our member question. This is um, maybe one of the most important member questions we've ever asked. Cheez-Its or goldfish? Now, I know the right answer. I'm very excited to see what you guys are going to put. Um, if you know me and hung out with me at home at any point, you know that I'm picking Cheez-Its. They're probably my favorite snack ever. Um, they were at my wedding. I love Cheez-Its. I also like goldfish, but I feel like Cheez-Its are on another level. Just the normal ones, not the cheddar or the white cheddar. They got it right the first time. Cheez-Its, just your standard Cheez-Its. 
All right, guys. Let us know what your favorite is, Cheez-Its or Goldfish, in the comments. I will see you guys at the gym. Have a great week.